All right, we're booted up now, and as you can see, um, it's asking us for a login password. This is the password that you gave it during the setup process. So we'll just type ours in, and uh, it'll boot all the way up to the graphical interface. All right, we're up to the interface now. Now, one of the first things we'll want to do is we'll want to upgrade our software. Um, the distribution, the operating system of Linux Ice um, cannot possibly be as updated as, it, as some of the packages and other components in the system. So we're going to um, update some of those components. One uh, of those being the desktop, the NGOS desktop, and probably there'll be an update for ice panel as well so we're gonna go into utility terminal and um, we've got a command line prompt here now you shouldn't be afraid if you're not familiar with the command line prompt this is mostly not needed um, all the standard Linux commands will work here um, particularly the apt-get um, system for grabbing, updating, and uh, downloading packages. We're not going to do that for now. What we're going to do is we're going to use um, well, before we do that, there's one thing I almost forgot to do. And that's we need to run a post-install configuration program. That's ICE configuration. That's this one uh, right here. We're going to run that and hope that it will do what we want. It's asking for a password, that uh, the administration password. Now it's going to go and download a number of uh, additional packages and configure the system for for better use in the car. Uh, one of the packages is Suspend, or as it's known now as Tux on Ice. This is a um, application that allows more speedily resumes from hibernation and Suspend. Um, it will ask us to enter our username so it can configure auto login configure that automatically for us. Okay, now all that's done. Now we will run our ICE update application. Now it's going to tell us that it's updating the system. We'll say OK. And, uh, oh, you are now updated. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Um, just for kicks, let's go into um, Linux Ice comes with a application for installing packages, and it is called Synaptic. Um, this also comes standard with Ubuntu. Um, so we're going to open this up, and we're going to um, force install a couple of applications that probably weren't updated. So we'll wait for that to launch and we'll install those packages. I want to introduce uh, my coworker and uh, faithful ally. This is my son, Veyron, and uh, he's coming to join us. Aren't you, buddy? Huh. As we describe the interface. Um, this large portion of the screen where you see the large buttons, music, and video, is called the NGOST desktop. Um, you can see right there it says desktop. Um, this is an application that will allow you to launch applications, play your music, play your video, 
control pretty much everything on the system from the desktop, specifically designed for car infotainment use. Down here at the bottom is the ice panel. Now we'll discuss some of its features later um, after we start the installation process. Okay, this is the Synaptic Package Manager and uh, it's the place where you will go to install pretty much every application you can think of. Um, right now we are going to do a search and install Firefox. So we'll type in Firefox there in the dialog, do a search. Now one of the myths that are I frequently hear about Linux is that it's difficult to install applications. For applications that are in the repository and are accessible via Synaptic Package Manager, installation is simple as ever. Uh, we'll wait a second while it searches. Okay. Now, as you can see, it pulled up a whole bunch of results here. We're just going to select the Firefox package and hit the apply button up here. Hit apply down here, make sure we want to go through with it. And it's going to download and install the package. We'll uh, let it do that and uh, we'll be back um, for some more configuration stuff. Okay, um, after the updates, I've now restarted the computer uh, in order to, you know, relaunch the new NGhost and Ice panel that we've uh, installed previously. And uh, as you can see, there's a few minor updates. There's a, there's a back button now on the uh, Ice panel, and there is now a place for the time. Um, right now, what we need to do is... Um, add some music to this thing so we can uh, test out the playback and make sure it all works. So, um, I've launched the uh, Thunar file manager via this icon right here. And you can see it up here. There's a number of uh, things to click. One thing you'll note is the Kev's iPod link. Um, that's what we're going to use to copy our music. So we'll go ahead and select that. Um, we want to copy our um, Story of the Year album. And we'll copy it to our music folder. Awesome. Alright. 